So after you are in Blackboard, just right click on the file, on the file name, and you select save link as depending on your browser, uh, the name of the menu item may be different, but save link as, and then go to your BlueJ project, uh, P2J init demo, and make sure the name is a valid name. So I want to keep it chaos test, chaos test.java, exactly the same name, okay? Save it, then go back to BlueJ. Unfortunately, you don't see anything in there because you need to add class from file. Go back to your BlueJ project folder. In my example, this is P2 J unit demo, and you select that file and say add. This is a J unit, uh, a J unit file. And what is J unit? J unit is for unit testing. So what we what you will see inside this class is a bunch of methods that you are not supposed to update. <coughs> Do not change anything in this file, okay? But the purpose of having this file is to test each method that you write in your video kiosk, that Java. Whenever you are working with JUnit, you want to see more buttons on the left hand side. You don't see that yet, and to see the uh, test buttons, and then you want to go to preferences, interface, select this checkbox, show unit testing tools, and you click OK, then you will see new buttons on the left hand side. So how do we use it? If I compile, then it will give you an error. So video kiosk is missing, right? So then the first thing that you want to do is to create your video kiosk .java, and let me just create video kiosk and put it here. And of course, you need to set up the constructor, the instance variable. So we need to have instance variable for uh, each, uh, for the three strings for the video title, right? So, and then uh, string video <coughs> title or video one title and then uh, video two title and video three title. Okay, and what else? We need to include instance variable for uh, the inventory, three integers for the current inventory of each video. So I need three different integers, then I will say private and uh, stock one, uh, uh, stock two, and stock three. Okay, so which is inventory for video one, inventory for video two, and inventory for video three. So you can keep going. So follow the instruction that, that you see in here. Okay, more instant variable that you need to put in there. And uh, let me show you the constructor. So the constructor is public video kiosk, and it says this constructor sets the instance variables to appropriate values, including three videos in stock for each title, and so on and so forth. So then I need to declare, I mean not declare, but I need to initialize my video one title to a valid video title. Is that big enough? Okay, let's say the first one is Fast and Furious, and second one, give me another title. Iron Man 3. <laughs> And then third title. Say it again. Okay. And you need to set up this inventory, right? Stop one. So how do you set up the inventory? Well, it says in the instruction, you need to declare some final variables. Okay. So. Uh, Final double for tax, final 
uh, price, final, starting inventory for each title. So the starting inventory is uh, three. So I'm going to declare a final integer. I, I'm going to call it starting inventory, and I'm going to initialize it to three per, the, uh, per instruction in, in your handout. So how do I create a final? Private, final, int, uh, start, thing, inventory, inventory. That's the coding, coding style. Oops, not 10, but three, okay? Coding style for declaring a final variable, so all caps. And down here, when I initialize, stop one equal to stop two equal to stop three equals to starting inventory. Okay, so I'm kind of introducing a new syntax to you. If you want to initialize several variables with the same value, just write something like that, okay? So any question about the constructor, the first constructor? So you need to do more, right? This is not enough. Then more more code here, more code here, okay? So just follow the instruction. So you know, like you need to declare other variables and double variables, uh, daily transaction, uh, credit balance, and so on and so forth, okay? So, uh, let me now jump to get price or get credit. Okay, let me jump to get credit. Okay, so what is this method supposed to do? So get credit is a method that returns the amount of money currently inserted by the customer. Okay, so how do I write my get credit? So we know that this, uh, the signature of get credit is public double get credit. So I just need to write public double get credit. And the only instruction that you need to write inside that method is just a return statement. Okay, return what? Well, this is similar to checking how much money you have in your pocket, right? But now I need to add another instance variable, and that instance variable is double. And if I, if I go back to the instruction, it says some time, uh, somewhere in here, like we're gonna call it credit balance. <coughs> okay, you don't have to name it credit balance, but it's up to you. But the handout suggested that you use the name credit balance, okay? So this credit balance, the instruction tells you that uh, that changes as the customer inserts coins, so then you may know that credit balance is uh, the variable that we want to use in, in uh, your class. Let me call it uh, credit balance or customer credit balance. So you can name it any name you like, okay? And down here, then you just say return customer credit balance. Okay, question? So you can keep adding, keep adding more methods, and then how do you go, how do you test? How do you test? So now it compiles, and how do you run it? So now you see that the J unit is now in, in a different color, uh, in green box, okay? And remember, do not change anything in the green box, okay? Do not change that. So if I run, if I run, then it will tell you what method to fix, okay? So at the end, uh, you, will, you want to see like no failures and then everything is, you will see a green checkbox everywhere, okay? Now, if you select one of the errors, it will tell you, it will give you a hint. So we designed the test file to give you a hint what is missing from your project, okay? So here it says, select video must display an appropriate message. Apparently, I don't have anything in my select video yet, right? Okay, so any question? So let me show you how to fix that. So select video, select video must display some message, and I just uh, use system out print LN for now. Okay, this is not the correct message. 
But just to show you that if you fix that, then if you run again, okay, compile and run again, then the error will be different. Okay, so you fix that, but still something is missing there. Okay, so now select video, inventory of video keys, three ships decrement by a number. So then we know you know how to handle that. Okay, any question about JUnit? Yes. 